What's going on, everyone? It looks like Guild Wars 2 teased the next elite specialization that they're working on, and this one looks like it's for Warrior. And if any of you have ever watched my stream for Guild Wars 2, you know that the only class I care about is Warrior, so here we are. And if you also watched, you know that I was dreading, absolutely dreading any and everything about the idea of Warrior's elite spec being pistol. I personally wanted a staff more than anything for it, for it, you know, like warrior monk type, you know, elite spec. And, uh, yeah, we didn't get it. No, we got pistol and, uh, I was really depressed about it, but then this image came to light and this is really interesting because this is not your typical pistol. This is very much so a gun blade. And if they actually are able to pull off some type of really unique gunplay gameplay style for Warrior, that could be a lot of fun. So we're going to break down this image a little bit. There's a lot of actual, there's actually a lot of little details here to look at and analyze. Um, so the first thing to look at here is this is obviously, you know, like the hilt of a blade. This is not how you would, this is not, you know, the handle for a gun ever. This would never be like a, a gun's holding point um but this is where the trigger is for where the finger would go but other than that you know you know he's holding it like he's drawing a blade which sure enough he's pulling this out of a scabbard right so you know you would never draw you don't draw a pistol from a scabbard right you could you know grab it from your holster but not a scabbard um and you know something to note right here is that the scabbard is actually cracking apart right here at the top of it as he's drawing it and so you know it's obviously not like a normal type of blade there's clearly some type of energy involved in this you know you got this big glowing light coming out of it as he's drawing it and that could be what's causing the scabbard to crack upon being drawn and so you know it raises the question of like all right what's the barrel here right is this the barrel or is this the barrel and you know the in terms of triggering it as a pistol mechanic you know how is it going to function are we going to be you know firing energy blades out of our pistol which would just would look a little goofy um but you know it you know these are things to take away and you know for people who are wondering well how are they going to do this because you know the, you know pistol how is how are the skins going to work for pistol for this and it could very easily be something that I think that they would do similar to what they did with Hollow Smith. You know, Hollow Smith, while it uses sword, when you're actually using Hollow Smith's abilities and its transformation form, um, it completely gets rid of that sword skin appearance and, uh, you know, takes on its own unique appearance for it. And so that is something that they could potentially uh, do here as well. Um, you know, it could very much so be that the gun blade mechanic itself is part of the rage form for warrior, your adrenaline usage. It could be an adrenaline form that you use. Um, but outside of that, it could just be a normal pistol. But then if you, when you go into rage mode, it transforms into a gun blade and then it takes on that unique appearance. That is something that they could very easily do with it. Um, but it is really interesting overall because a, a gun blade is a really awesome fantasy weapon design. And it's something that a lot of people really like in a lot of gameplay styles. Like I know gun blade in final fantasy was like the, one of the most popular things that they could have ever done for it. And people have just eaten that up. So personally, I'm really all, all about this gun blade. Um, um, one other thing to note about it actually looking at it is the the gloves if you notice there's giant armor piercing bullets um all around the forearm gauntlet bit for the glove which then as well on the backhand is these two barrels actually and so the glove itself the it could be a um a little gauntlet cannon right a cannon glove type thing where you actually literally load the bullets off of your glove into the chambers right here on the glove and fire them out of your glove as you know, that could be something that's a mechanic for the class in itself 
along with this. And so like, you know, there's multiple things on here that we can look at that can be attributed to how this weapon could function for the warrior. And, uh, you know, this is definitely out of the norm of warriors, typical type of design and aesthetic. And, you know, uh, I think that's okay. I, th I think, I think warrior can use a little flair, you know, it's warrior has always been a very straightforward, um, very uh, obvious play style and appearance and you know its animations have been maybe a little too forward you know it is often found that warriors probably i mean thinking about it from a pvp perspective warriors always been like the easiest class to read in terms of like what its you know actions are it has very uh exaggerated animations for a lot of what it does and very straightforward animations to it right not very much with anything sort of elusive or flashy um in that regard and so, you know, having, having this gun blade, you know, having, bringing a little flair to the warrior lifestyle, uh, isn't necessarily a bad thing. And it, it could be interesting to shake things up a little bit for what warrior has been all these years. Um, and so I'm really interested in it and I'm very curious to see how it, you know, plays out, but yeah, that's, uh, just some stuff to look at here for the warrior elite spec, allegedly. Um, looking forward to checking it out on September 21st, once it comes in the, uh, testing window for that weekend. So we'll definitely be checking that out. So if you guys want to, want to drop on by and check it out with us, uh, you can find us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Zav. And, um, if you enjoy the video, be sure to like, and subscribe as always, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy and have a good one.